The summer movie season is starting to wind down so it's time to look ahead to the fall and the winter season of 2018 and the films coming out for the rest of this year. There are a few I'm looking forward to, there's a few that are on my radar and I'm really hoping that these films can pick 2018 up because it's been kind of an underwhelming year for me at the cinema, not been too many films to rat home about so I'm hoping it picks up, I'm hoping 2018 ends on a good note so let's get into the films I'm looking forward to and the ones that are just on my radar in general. First up on the 12th of September is The Predator. Now I've only ever seen the first Predator with Arnold and it was a fun 80s action film that I enjoyed watching and it's Arnold. Can't really go wrong with Arnold for the most part and The Predator 2018 from the trailer for me it can go one or two ways either fun badass sci-fi action or a generic cliche who gives a crap sci-fi action. It looks like it could be entertaining at least. Got some cool looking action and creature design in there with the Predator itself. I liked the Predator in the original film with his technology so here's hoping that it's a badass time at the cinema. I'm going to check it out for sure on September 12th. October the 5th is Venom. Now of course I'm interested in seeing Venom because it's a Marvel Comics property character and it looks like it could be a unique entry into the comic book genre about a guy being taken over by a parasite alien symbiote and it looks like it concentrates on the horror aspects of that happening because he's like getting really messed up from it. The dual personality is kind of freaking him out. I just really hope that Sony can stick the landing with Venom because the last time they did a comic book film completely by themselves didn't really work out for anybody so I'm just hoping they learn from their past mistakes. I hope they don't over market the crap out of Venom and ruin everything in the trailers and there are things that are keeping me hopeful for the film like Tom Hardy's involvement, Michelle Williams involvement and just the look and design of Venom himself. Venom just looks badass in the trailers so I'm just hoping that it's a good comic book film and I'm just hoping that it lives up to its potential. Also on the 5th of October is Johnny English Strikes Again. I'm a big Rowan Atkinson fan. I love the original Mr. Bean TV show from the early 90s. I like the first two Johnny English films very much, especially the first one's kind of a nostalgic film for me actually. So from that perspective, I'm looking forward to watching Johnny English Strikes Again simply to see Rowan Atkinson back on screen doing what he does best, which is elevating the comedy and the material that he works with. On the 12th of October, I'd say it's my next most anticipated film of the year and that is First Man, the new film directed by Damien Chazelle and right there, that's got me in the cinema because Damien Chazelle's last two films, Whiplash and La La Land, are two of my favourite films from the past few years. So you tell me Damien Chazelle's directing a new film, I'm there, no matter what it is, and it just so happens to be a biopic about Neil Armstrong and the mission to get the first man on the moon. Sounds awesome to me. I'm looking forward to it. Also on the 12th of October is Bad Times of the El Royale. Now this is a film that all just got put on my radar a few days ago when I saw the trailer for the first time and it looks quite interesting. It seems like kind of a Hateful Eight kind of film where loads of strangers converge at one place and they all have past, they all have something to hide, they're all kind of like criminals or something and it's all going to come to a head at this one place. It looks like it could be stylish and entertaining and fun. It's directed by Drew Goddard who did The Cabin in the Woods and he wrote The Martian. So things are looking quite good for Bad Times of the El Royale. I'm glad I finally saw the trailer and I'm glad that it's finally on my radar. October the 24th is Bohemian Rhapsody, the Freddie Mercury biopic. I'm a fan of Queen. I like quite a few of their songs. Bohemian Rhapsody especially is like one of my favourite songs of all time. And I'm just looking forward to Bohemian Rhapsody simply to see the story of Freddie Mercury and Queen because I don't know what their stories are. I've heard whispers about Freddie Mercury but I don't know what his entire story is. So I'm just looking forward to seeing all that play out when Bohemian Rhapsody comes out on October 24th. I'm looking forward to it. On November 6th, 16th, we're going back to the Wizarding World with Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Now, the first Fantastic Beasts, I really enjoyed them in cinema, but re-watching it, I wasn't as big of a fan of it. I found it kind of slow and a bit dull sometimes, but it was still a decent film, still a decent expansion of the Wizarding World. And that's also why I'm looking forward again to The Crimes of Grindelwald, is to see further expansions of this Wizarding World. We're going to Paris, we're going to see different corners of it once again, because J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World is probably my favourite mythology put to screen. Sorry Star Wars, sorry Lord of the Rings, it's J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World. And from the trailer, the film does look a bit darker, a bit more serious than the first Fantastic Beasts. I'm looking forward to seeing where the story goes with Grindelwald and Dumbledore. I like the look of Johnny Depp and Jude Law in those roles. I do have one or two concerns with it, but in the end, it's a Wizarding World film and I'm just going to look forward to it regardless because it's the Wizarding World. November the 30th has two big films coming out, the first one being Creed 2. And Creed 2 for me is simply a case of I really enjoyed the first one, so I'm looking forward to the second one. I am a little bit worried 
worried about Creed 2 in terms of the boxing formula because, you know, all boxing films are the same. But that didn't really stop me from enjoying the first Creed, so I hope it doesn't do the same for Creed 2. Also on November 30th is Ralph Breaks the Internet Wreck-It Ralph 2. I really enjoyed the first Wreck-It Ralph. It was kind of like a Toy Story, but for arcade games, when the arcade shuts at night, the characters come out and they interact with each other. In this one, Ralph and his little friend, I can't remember her name, they go into the internet and we see references to Star Wars, Marvel, Pixar and all things Disney. I hope it's not like a like a self-indulgent kind of Disney saying, oh look at all the cool stuff that we own. I hope it's more than just a reference fest and it's got a cool story like Ready Player One. But we'll see what happens on November 30th. I am looking forward to it. On December the 14th is the next film in the DCEU slash Worlds of DC and that's Aquaman. I am hopeful for Aquaman, I'm optimistic, but that first trailer really kind of dampened my optimism for it, no pun intended. Some of the jokes in the trailer seemed a bit cringy, and there's some really generic ash trailer music in there as well. There are a couple of things in there that I'm not really sure about, I have to wait to see how it's executed in the film. But I am optimistic because I liked the Aquaman character in Justice League, I like Jason Momoa as Aquaman, and I'm just hoping for some cool underwater badassery. I'm looking forward to seeing the world of Atlantis, that looks visually interesting. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed for Aquaman, hopefully it can get the DCEU back on the right track. 21st of December is Mary Poppins Returns, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm hyped for this film. And I've never even seen the first Mary Poppins film, but with Mary Poppins Returns, I just get this feeling that it's gonna be this old-fashioned, classical feeling Disney film. I don't really have anything to back that up, but that's just the feeling I get from it. I just feel like it's gonna be this really wonderful, old-fashioned Disney musical that's gonna harken back to the old days of Disney. Emily Blunt looks great in the trailers. I'm excited for Mary Poppins, y'all. It looks like a perfect film for Christmas. It's probably one of my most anticipated films for the rest of the year, actually. And last but not least, on December 26th is Bumblebee. Yes, a Transformers film on my most anticipated for the rest of the year list. I'm surprised as well, but Bumblebee actually looks like a fairly competent Transformers film, unlike the last five. It's not being directed by Michael Bay, that gives me some hope, but that doesn't automatically mean it's going to be a good film, it could completely suck just like the rest of them, but because it's not Michael Bay, that gives me hope, the trailer gives me hope, I like the direction they're going with Bumblebee, about you know somebody finding a fantastical friend, we've seen that formula before with like Iron Giant and Peach Dragon, but with this film, I'll take a familiar formula done really well over the BS that Michael Bay was doing in the other films. It it looks fun, it looks heartfelt, it looks like it could be the first actual good Transformers film, so count me interested in Bumblebee. So there you have it guys, those are my most anticipated films for the rest of 2018 and my question to you is quite simple, what are your most anticipated films for the rest of this year? Tell me in the comments below and if you want to see more of my stuff, click on one of these things in a second and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>